Hi, my darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Taurus. And it's just going to be a little weekend check-in. That's what we're going to call it. A weekend check-in for you. I'll be using my tarot cards. And that's all I'm going to be using. It's going to be short and sweet just for you. And it better be sweet. So, darlings, welcome, welcome, welcome. Everyone, I welcome you. I welcome you, darlings. I welcome you with open arms and an open heart. Please know that I deliver these messages to you from my heart to your heart always, always. And we're going to see what messages we have for you. Now, please remember, not every reading is going to be for you. So just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. So Taurus, let's see. So Taurus, this is for you. You got the world card. You, you achieved something successfully. Something came to completion for you. You got the hermit. I don't know what that is. Now, it could be that whatever it, does, whatever it was that came to completion, you're now feeling alone. Or maybe now you're doing some work within. Maybe you're looking within. The search for spiritual enlightenment. You desire to be alone right now. Nothing wrong with that. Ah, maybe you did walk away from something. We got the Eight of Cups here. Maybe something ended for you. It's the end of a stage, okay? Romance, thing of the past. An offer, a romantic offer, whatever it was is in the past. The Nine of Cups, darlings, your wishes are going to come true. You got to believe that, okay? Believe in you. Trust you. Five of Swords, the Five of Swords is a conflict. A lot of times when things end, you know, there's a lot of back and forth, like a you and a you and a, you know what I mean? So there's some conflict in your environment, but you don't have to take part in it, okay? You may feel defeated, but you don't have to partake in this, you know? You don't have to have the last word. Leave it, let it be. It's over, all right? You got the Queen of Pentacles. I say that's you, and you know how to handle the money. And you know how to take care of that part. Six of Pentacles. You found you some financial balance, or maybe balance overall. We got the Empress. This is about abundance, prosperity. Time to get your butt in action, okay? There are things, good things waiting for you. You got the two of cups. <laughs> you remember when things end or when things come to an ending, there's always making room for good things or new things to come in, okay? We got, oops, we got the two of cups. The two of cups is about love and harmony, warm friendships, true feelings, close relationships with a soulmate. Hmm. Sometimes, I mean, in, in life, like if our relationships are always up and down, maybe they're just not meant to be together, you know? Relationships are not about uh, F you and a, this you and a, another you, and you know? And it's not about cussing and fighting and anger, you know? It's two people coming together, you know? We gotta change things, you hear me? We got to change things, and we can. We can. So whatever this um, love is here, things are calming down, or maybe you're moving towards something really beautiful here. Yeah. Maybe your desire. That's little Tico. Yeah. Hear his big voice? I don't know what he's barking. Maybe a bird outside. So anyway, so we have the Six of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Two of Wands. On top, after the Two of Cups here. 
Now, down here, remember when I said you were walking away from something and then I said this, oi, this, you were, this was you, Taurus, but the money, right? You know how to handle the money. Maybe you had to make a choice. Maybe you were walking towards something that's gonna better you, bring you abundance. I mean, afterwards, we got the Six of Pentacles, we got the Empress, we got the Two of Cups. We got the Six of Swords here. We got the Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. If you look at this here now, it looks like if you're moving towards something. And the something that you're moving towards is, it's fine, um, is the Ace of Pentacles, which is a new beginning financially, you know? New financial beginning, some new opportunity, maybe the raise that you were waiting for. And you have a choice. Okay, you have a choice. All right, you got the two of wands. And after that, Taurus. Hmm. Babies. You're going to have some new love as well. You're going to be magical. You're going to see some magical things happening for you. We got the magician. I have the wisdom to overcome any problem. Originality, ability, initiative, intelligence, knowledge, dexterity, power, willpower, work. Then you got the emperor, and the emperor is about real stable energy, you know? Intelligence and authoritarian control. Mm. <laughs> Don't be so hard. All right. And then you got the lovers here. You have an important decision to make where love is concerned. Or some partnership, maybe the finances or the heart. I don't know. Only you can make that decision. And those are really tough decisions. We got the magician. We got the emperor. We got the lovers. I mean, those are pretty good cards too. You got to make that decision. Will you be able to? Yes, you will. Just be patient. Be patient with you. Okay? Be patient with you. I love you guys dearly. You take care of yourselves and we will chat soon. Ain't nothing too bad here. You know that. A little arguing, maybe something ended because there was the world there. Something came full circle. It's the end of that stage. Okay? We will chat soon. I love you guys. Mwah.